Right, uh, we're here today to uh, see uh, a fascinating sight on Lake Erie. I'll come up Lake Erie right now, which is the SS uh, Ki Kiwatin. Kiwatin? Kiwatin? Kiwatin. Uh, it's different pronunciations. I've been watching YouTube videos on it, so we'll go with Kiwatin. Uh, anyway, it's uh, a vessel, uh, one of its kind now, one left, it's uh, over 100 years old, built in 1907 in uh, Glasgow, Scotland, and uh, built on the Clyde over there, uh, brought over here, and uh, yeah, it's worked on the Great Lakes ever since, uh, though it was uh, basically uh, moored and stored up for like 30, 40 years. I'll tell you a bit more about the story later on, but I just want to put over a, a, a brief synopsis of it all for you. So anyway, uh, a group of people purchased the vessel and uh, it was then um, made its way over to, uh, to its hometown of Port McNichol, uh, Simcoe County uh, area uh, on the Great Lakes up there, and uh, where it got restored, made beautiful, became an attraction, and uh, yeah, it was there for the last 12 years. Anyway, it's now on its way to the Maritime Museum which is located on Kingston, uh, Ontario, just on Lake Ontario there. So it's been made a key, it's a voyage, it's final voyage for now. I think they said the final voyage uh, back in 2011. Look at it again, it's now making its move again. Mind you, it is being towed, it's, it's with a tug, it's not under its own power. Uh, but anyway, that's what we're going out to see. It's like a mini Titanic, that's probably the best thing to say. It's best described as a mini Titanic. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go out and find it, show you it, and uh, I have a funny feeling when we get into Port Coburn as the ship comes in, there's going to be a lot of people here uh, to see this. So uh, that's why uh, I thought, let's get on the water, get the best shot. I don't want to spill uh, people's shots with their cameras as the vessel comes in, so uh, I'll get the shots as it comes in, and once it makes its way into port, I'll kind of stay clear and let the people take their own pictures. I don't want to get in the way too much. So anyway, all right, let's see what we can find. coming in, uh, there's the old Goma conveyor and uh, just on the horizon, about two nautical miles behind it, way over there is the ship. So I'm going to try and get out there a little bit further, get the drone up because it's actually quite light wind again. So I want to try and get the drone up as quick as I can, get some shots of it out on the open water and as it enters Port Coven, I think that'd be quite nice. Then we'll get some shots in the harbour. So uh, that's what we're going to do. What a nice shot that is. That is a really, really nice shot. With the sun and the clouds. Great. It's cool. Oh my God, check this out. Oh, this is amazing. You seen that? That is amazing. Wow. It's like looking at a ghost ship coming towards you. It's, this is like jet propulsion jet ski being steep ship from 115 years ago. That's these tug lines on it. Gotta stay well, gotta stay well clear of them tug lines. Now it's a yeah. Uh, Kiwata gets closer to uh, Port Coven, the entrance to the harbour. They're now tightening the, uh, the tow rope. It's a lot shorter than what it was earlier. I want to get on the other side of it now and get a nice shot before I get the drone up. Now if I come round to the port side of the ship, the other tug is attached to it, helping it out here. What a nice shot that is. That is amazing. The guys, so the guys are just going inside the vessel now. The, uh, I guess they're the pilots. All right, let's get ahead of it and get the drone up quickly. It 
looks like quite the operation to get this through the locks here at, uh, at Welland. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the last time this vessel would have come through the Welland Canal, now correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but the last time this came through the Welland Canal was one of the old Welland Canals back in 1907, where they had to actually split the vessel in half because back then the, area, uh, the Welland Canal wasn't big enough to cater for a vessel of that size uh, back in 1907. So they had to uh, cut the vessel right in half and I've seen some photographs of it yesterday and I can find them again, I'll put them up right with this video. They cut it in half and they took it through the Welling Canal. Unbelievable. And once it got to uh, Port Coburn, I'm not sure whether they did it in Port Coburn or they took it to Buffalo, but the well did it all back together Company and then off it went. Those, uh, picked up a couple of feet, so the bottom one is above that low uh, rock timber. And uh, making quite the wake. Look at this. Look at the wake he's making. It's going so slow but yet the wake is quite big. Seems to be quite a few people gathering here in Port Coburn waiting for the imminent arrival of the uh, old steamship. We've got a bit longer to wait. Quite another hour to where the speed that's going at. But uh, the crowds are out over here people along the fence line, cars everywhere. Uh, there's people down here as well. So it's going to be busy down here. It's going to be a fascinating thing when the shit comes through. It's nice to see all these people coming out to see it. The reason why I got this over my face, there's a lot of bugs. I've already choked on a couple, so that's why I had to put this on. So. Well, there she is, just coming into the harbour now, into the canal. Into the uh, entrance of Port Colburn. That's mighty fine looking.
Alright, the SS Kiwaten is now in Port Coburn. I just stayed back a little bit as it entered so I could get some more drone shots and also more to allow the people who are here on the dockside get some nice photographs without me obscuring it. So I stayed well back. As you can tell, all the people are down here. Uh, so I didn't want to spoil their shot. The guy in the boat here with his camera kind of shot across him so he could get some nice shots too. So uh, anyway, they're just positioning the ship. Looks like they're going to moor it up here for a little while. I don't know how long for, uh, but they're just positioning it right now. Quite a turnout, actually. Quite a few people here. Well, it looks like we beat the rain. Still no rain yet. Good crowd came out as well. Looks like it's just moored up now and posing for photographs. Still got quite a long way to go though, get to Kingston. It's gonna be fun getting that through the locks. All right, going up into the pie guys, grab a coffee and a bit of a sweet. Be nice I could find a table. If not, I sit outside, I'm warm enough. close up now it's moored up I hope you enjoyed the video today uh, if you did even if you didn't please make sure you like and if you don't mind subscribing it really helps me uh, just a local YouTube creator here and uh, I have a good time doing it. it's just a hobby a very expensive hobby so uh, every little penny YouTube gives me which is not, not much it does help to buy a coffee every now and then and uh, helps me out so uh, once again thank you for your support and I'll be back out in the water or chasing storms very very soon until then take care